Hello everyone, my name is Rajiv Sharma and today we are going to discuss lines and angles. So before we begin with lines and angles, we must understand the meaning of the word geometry. So what is the meaning of the word geometry? Geometry is the branch of mathematics in which we study about different shapes and its attributes. So what is the meaning of the word attribute here? Attribute is something which is associated with different shapes like angles of the triangle, like radius of the circle, sides of the square. These all are attributes here. So geometry is nothing but the study of different shapes and its attributes, right? So moving ahead, in order to understand geometry better, we must have some idea about the basic definitions that are used in the geometry. So we will begin with point. So what is a geometrical point? A geometrical point is a dot which has no length and no breadth. It only represents a position, okay? So a point is a dot which has no length and breadth. Now moving ahead, let us understand what is a line. So the path traced by a moving point is called a line. The path traced by a moving point is called a line. A line has no breadth. It only has some length. Okay. Now do not confuse yourself with line and a straight line. A line can be straight as well as a line can also be a curved line. Okay. How? How do we get a straight line? So when the point moves in the same direction, we get a straight line. The path traced when the point moves in the same direction is called a straight line. As you can see image on the top. So this is the straight line as the pencil as the tip of the pencil is being moved in the same direction. We get a straight line. Now moving ahead. What is a curve line then? A curve line is the path traced when the point moves freely on the surface. It need not to move in the same direction. It can move freely on the surface. Then we will get curved line as you can see image on the top right so let's move ahead and let us understand how do we represent a straight line on the paper so how do we do that so a straight line looks something like this okay so these two arrows on the other side of this line represents that this line has not a finite length it can be extended up to infinity on both sides. what do these arrows represent they represent that this line can be extended up to infinity okay now what can we conclude about the straight line we can say that straight line has infinite length and it has no end points okay now moving ahead let us understand what is line segment so the word segment in general what this word mean it means a portion or a part of something right so what should be the definition of line segment line segment is the part of the line line segment is the part of the straight line so let's take an example. Suppose this is the straight line and if I take two points on it A and B and if I cut this AB part, AB part or AB segment, what do we get? We get AB line segment. Okay. What have we done? We have cut this part out of this line and we get a segment AB. So this is the line segment AB. Now what can we conclude about this line segment? We can say that line segment has two end points and it has finite length okay now moving ahead let us understand array what is a ray in geometry so you must have heard about the word ray in light rays or in sun rays right so have that understanding of the word ray in your mind and we will try to connect that understanding with the geometrical interpretation of ray right so suppose this is sun it is a dot it is a point but consider it as a sun now what do what does the sun do it throws rays right so suppose it is throwing ray so as you can notice this ray can travel in the right direction as far as up to infinity right this ray can travel in the right direction as far as up to infinity so we can say what do we can say about the ray we can say that a ray is a line which has only one end point as you can notice in this figure on the left side it has a fixed point but on the right side it has an arrow which represents that it can be extended up to infinity so a ray is a line having only one end point it can be extended to one side only okay now moving ahead let us understand the meaning of the word angle now i have noticed in my teaching career that this concept of angle is very confusing to the students right many students don't get the idea of what does uh, angle represent okay so let us understand this 
so in most precise and most brief uh, definition of the angle is angle is nothing but the amount or degree of rotation okay angle is nothing but the amount of degree of rotation so let us take an example this is the ray OA where O is the fixed point okay so if I rotate this ray in such a manner that it completes one rotation now we know that angle is nothing but the amount of rotation happened so what is the amount of ro rotation in this example we can say that angle is one complete rotation right now instead of rotating it fully what if I have rotated it in semi circle okay so as you can see I have only done half rotation this ray has only done half rotation so I can say that now that angle will be half rotation okay so same way in similar way what if I have taken a quarter rotation then I would have said that angle is half 1 by 4 rotation okay now similarly there can other angles also 1 by 8th rotation will be look like this and 1 by 12th rotation will look like this okay so now as you notice angle is nothing but the amount of rotation but the problem with this uh, notation is that we are writing fractional values like half 1 by 4 1 by 8 and 1 by 12 these fractional values are very complicated to handle right so I want these fractional values to transform into whole numbers I want that instead of writing half rotation I want some whole number here so how will we do that I will say if I consider one complete rotation equals to 360 degrees okay if I replace one rotation with 360 degree then these all half 1 by 4 and 1 by 8 and 1 by 12 rotation these all will change into whole numbers how let's say if I replace one rotation with 360 degree what will I get half into 360 will get 180 the angle will be 180 90 45 and 30 right so why have we taken one rotation equal to 360 degree has a complete backstory but due to the limitation on the timing of this video uh, I am skipping that story right so this is angle so I think I should wrap this video because it is getting longer so thanks for watching and keep learning guys I hope aapko hamara ye video pasand aya hoga agar pasand aya ho to don't forget to like the video share with your friends and subscribe our channel so that aapke liye hum future mein bhi aise innovative videos laate rahe so that you can get help from all these videos I'll see you soon in next video till that time Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.